Hi everyone, I'm Amanda and on this episode I'm going to show you a beginner's guide to using your Google Drive. As you can see, I'm already logged into my Google Drive. If you don't know how to access your Google Drive, just log into your Gmail and click on this button right up top that says Drive or type drive.google.com in your address bar and sign in. What Google Drive is, is it's basically um, a virtual storage drive. Most of you carry around flash drives or thumb drives and you hold all of your files there. Google Drive is virtual so we can access it on any machine or device that has the internet. Google Drive gives you 5 gigs of storage space to store your documents. The amount of documents that you can store is going to vary on the size of the documents. So pictures may take up more space than Word documents, PowerPoints may take up more space than Excel documents, and so on. So right now we're going to practice uploading a document. I'm going to come up top to this red button with the up arrow, and if I hover over it, it says upload. When I click on this button, I have the option to upload files or a folder. I'm going to click on files and then I'm going to search for the file that I'd like to upload. I've selected my iPad How To's PDF. I'm going to click on Open, and then a status bar is going to come up showing me how much of the completion is done. You can see that just within seconds here, my iPad How To's PDF has already uploaded. If I had selected multiple documents, the rest of them would show underneath with their upload status. I'm going to close out this box here. Just to give you a little overview, all of your documents and folders have icons next to them showing you what type of document it is. This was a Word document, so I've got a W next to it. My PDF has the Adobe symbol. Anything that's been created with Google Docs will have a Docs icon. So this is the Excel and the Word Docs icon. If I want to start from scratch and create a new document, I'm just going to come up to this button that says Create. And when this drops down, I have the option to create a folder, document, presentation, spreadsheet, form, and drawing. These programs are similar to Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and Access. So right now I'm going to click on Document, and you'll see a new tab is going to open. This program is going to look very familiar to you if you've used Microsoft Word before. The first thing I'm going to do is come up top where it says Untitled Document. I'm going to click in here and change the name of my document. I'm going to call it Amanda's Notes. When I click on OK, my document has been renamed. If you've noticed, right up top here, it just said Saving. What Google Docs does is it automatically saves your document for you, so you no longer have to hit File, Save, or Control S every time you make a change. It's automatically changed for you. So as I start typing, you're going to notice right up top here that it will say Saving, and then All Changes Saved in Drive. I have the options, just like in Microsoft Word, to change my text. So I'm going to highlight my text, pull this drop down, and change it to Chewy. Let's change it to 24, purple font, and we can center it. They also give me uh, numbers and bulleting, so I can do everything just like I would in Microsoft Word. I hit the Enter key a few times here. If I come up to Insert, I can insert an image, a link, equation, or even a drawing. Let's go to Image. Now I can upload an image if I have something off my computer. If I have something saved in my Google Drive, I can choose that too. I'm going to click on Search, and this will bring me right to a Google search right inside my browser. Let's search for cats. By clicking on the Search button, it's going to give me results that match my search. I'm just going to click this first one and hit select. It's going to take a few seconds to load. If it comes in too large, just click on that picture and pull on any one of these blue sizers and you can resize your picture. So since it's already saved for me, I can just close out this button. You'll see in my drive, I now have something that says Amanda's Notes. This is that Word document that we just created. If I click on any one of these items, I'm going to get some more options up top. So let's click on Test. You can see these icons now appear. If I hover over any of these, they'll tell me exactly what they do. I can share this with someone. I can move it to a new folder. 
and I can remove it. So I'm just going to click on remove. That's going to delete it from my drive, and they'll even let me know up top here that it was moved to the trash. I do have the option to undo that, so if I realize I made a mistake, I can undo that. So that's it for your quick overview of what your Google Drive can do. Stay tuned for later episodes where we'll get more in depth. Thanks so much.